Okay, it's been a clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Odell Brewing Company out in America and it's a bottle of their St. Lupulin Extra Pale Ale coming in at 6.5% ABV. There's the label of that nice gent tending or tending to his hops. And this beer is dedicated to the, the, the bloke there in the picture. It's a seasonal from Odell. Not sure when it's brewed, what month of the year. But all I really care about is that I've got a bottle in my hand. And I've always been a big fan of Odell. Oh, oh yeah. Always been a big fan of Odell Brewing Company. If you watch my earlier reviews, I used to call them Oddle. Oddle Brewing. And I think I had a few of the other beer reviews on YouTube, but one stage they were kind of... They were saying, oh, oddle, oddle, and it, it was uh, it was a kind of a, oh, no, it's, it, I can't say that. What is he talking about? That silly Englishman, that silly kind of British person. It's not oddle, it's Odell. So there we go, Odell Brewing Company, there you go. Um, I think I, I reviewed their, um, their something barrel pale ale and their cutthroat porter and their IPA, which amazing beers and recently they brewed a chocolate porter chocolate stout which was lovely really good beer anyway this is their seasonal Saint Lou Lupin beer in a glass it's a nice looking pale ale white head two fingers nice carbonation rushing up the side of the glass in different kind of consistencies. You've got some bubbles rising up slowly, some quickly, but it's quite mesmerizing. It looks exactly like a pale ale should. Let me get my nose into this one now. Oh yes, and it's that classic American IPA stroke pale ale aroma of a slightly spicy hop mixed in with that massive pungent grapefruit and mango and and lemon and orange and all them other flavors you get from a, from an American beer. Oh, it smells so good and it smells importantly so fresh. I always tell a fresh beer from I almost get uh, when it's that fresh freshly squeezed orange juice in the aroma like a sweet orange juice. That's that's how I kind of get that the beer really fresh. I have to dig into this one. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Wow. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Christ on a bicycle. What a fantastic pale ale we have in our hands. It's very sweet. It's very sweet, but you know that sweetness is there for a reason. The sweetness coming from the malt and maybe a little bit of added brewing syrup. I don't know, maybe. Um, really then, it, it kind of preps you for that bitterness. It's like, hold on, use the sweetness, use the sweetness, use the sweetness, and here's the hop parade and it's it really does play out really well this parade it's 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 nice and bitter it's full of fresh kind of freshly squeezed mango and orange and grapefruit oh oh it's so drinkable at 6.5% ABV, there's a big balancing act to play. It's crossing over from being very refreshing, very drinkable, to kind of double IPA, where it's a little bit thicker, where they've added extra malt into the brew to kind of get all them sugars out for the fermentation. And it's, 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 it's in between. It's still very drinkable, but it's got that 
touch, that lovely little touch of it being that hop kind of resin stickiness on the tongue and, and on the lips and I, and I love that, I really do. Mm. And what helps quite a bit with the beer is that carbonation. It helps when you when it hits your mouth, it kind of pushes around the inside of your mouth. It gets to your taste buds where where if it was a flat beer, it wouldn't quite get there. It kind of punches above its weight and it brings a lift to the beer. Carbonation is very important. Mm. But this fresh mango, this lovely fresh nectarine, it's lemon, orange peel, a lovely bitterness. It's not kind of going crazy on me this bitterness, it's quite a balanced beer. It's balanced between the sweetness and the bitterness and it, and it, it really is a good tasting they call it extra pale ale 6.5% ABV a lot of Americans at 6.5% ABV would call this an IPA um, it's certainly in the IPA territory it's it's wonderfully tasty and I'm gonna stop kind of banging on about this beer now and give it a rating um, pardon me but you can have a little read of that if you want pause the video now have a read it just goes on to describe if you can get it it describes lulupin or lupulin even it's a guy an old gent who kind of tended to the hops really kind of cherished them and looked after them and I think if you can produce a beer this good then then it's worth cherishing your hops it's worth kind of stroking them and, and kind of worshiping and praying to them if you like it because it does they produce fantastic flavors hops for me are the best is are they a fruit or a vegetable I or is it just a flower I don't know but it's it's probably if it was a part of my five a day I would say it would be my number one five a day hops here's the hops okay St. Lu Lupin rating from real old craft beer gets this gets a nine nine out of ten I really enjoyed this beer um, it, it's just brought a smile to my face to another busy day. It's been a busy day. I've cracked open a beer. It's been good and I like it when that happens. There's nothing worse when I kind of turn my camera on, I get everything set up, I get my bottle opener and my glass and my bottles and, and I open the beer and I pour it out and I stick my nose in and it's mm, and then I taste it and it's even mm, you, you, you know straight away. It's great to be able to review a beer that's great. Thanks for watching another edition of Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.